fancy meeting you here. I'm not going to tell you what time it is. Instead, I'm going to tell you we are back to do the second half, no, the final installation of our Energy in Living Systems survey of ever. And I'm bringing us back to this drawing that we did in the very first discussion we had about energy in general. And we just spent the last lecture talking about exactly how we took energy from the apple and made it into ATP so that we could use it, so we could do stuff. And that process is cellular respiration. Now we're going to break down photosynthesis. Now we're going to, like, dive into the details of this chemical reaction, which takes energy from the sun and carbon dioxide and a little bit of water and produces sugar and oxygen. Thank you so much for doing that. If you did not heed my warning in the last video and you don't have a solid understanding of cellular respiration, I recommend stopping watching this right now and going back and watching the, like, doing whatever work you have to do to study cellular respiration and make sure that you're solid because they're really similar. And if you're not solid in cellular respiration, you're going to feel like you got hit with a shotgun of information overload. But if you're solid in cellular respiration, photosynthesis is just going to be making connections, and it will be easier to remember. Let's start out by looking at the organelle responsible for cellular or for photosynthesis. Remember, cellular respiration, we had the mitochondria. That's who is responsible for carrying out cellular respiration. In photosynthesis, it's the chloroplast. So let's go do a little bit of chloropast. Chloropast anatomy. 